Seiko's Save the Ocean Watches could fairly accurately be described as a cute series, with a fun assortment of dials that represent the ocean and the creatures that inhabit it. Throw in the fact that Seiko used proceeds from those sales to fund aquatic wildlife and environmental conservation efforts, and you've got yourself an interesting feel-good watch. Bringing that same attitude to the luxury end of the spectrum is the SLA-055. Moving away from the cute attitude and presenting a more serious, adventure-ready diver. In 1966, Seiko's first dive watch was used in an Antarctic expedition by Japanese divers who were impressed with the watch's performance in the quite literally freezing waters. Come 1968, Seiko released their professional 300-meter diver with an iconic four o'clock crown that would later become a hallmark for the brand in the decades to come. This case and dial architecture was later affectionately nicknamed the Marine Master and forms the basis for the new SLA-055 limited edition. This modern reinterpretation is a rare example of a watch being reduced from its vintage size, with the original reference measuring at just under 44 millimeters and the SLA-055 coming in at 42.6 millimeters. This move ensures that the watch can fit on the average customer's wrist with a lug-to-lug -lug length of 49.3 millimeters, which is a clever step, seeing as these aren't as likely to be used as real diving equipment. The thick curves of the lugs and wide, bold chamfers are just as intoxicating as ever, summarizing the transition between 1960s slim fashion and 1970s chunk. Seiko are no strangers to a lovable dial, but the SLA-055 has to be one of the most evocative ice and water-based dials so far. The flowing shades of pastel baby blue ebb into desaturated navy, while the slightly rippled texture really captures the effect of colossal glaciers reflecting off of the water's surface. This is enhanced by the blue printing and paint on the rotating bezel insert, and it's given a hint of vintage warmth through the off-white Lumi Bright. The movement is what sets this watch the furthest apart from its peers, and that's the Seiko 8L35. This is essentially a Grand Seiko Caliber 9S55, with less lavish decoration and a slightly stronger mainspring to compensate for the larger and heavier hands that dive watches are usually equipped with. You likely won't miss the decoration, given that this is a Prospex watch, with a solid case back displaying Seiko's Great Wave emblem. But you will know that the quality is on par with some of the world's best production movements. The waffle style strap is nice and flexible, while still being strong enough to support the watch. And it also comes with one of Seiko's new fabric straps that they claim is more durable to wear and tear and sun fading than a regular nylon NATO. Whether or not you believe this watch is comparable to a Grand Seiko because of its movement, the price is a bit of a cold shock to those used to Seiko pricing from a few years ago. 7,250 Australian dollars is proper luxury money and there's no shortage of competition for professional divers within that budget. If you're a Seiko fan, or maybe someone who prefers their luxury pieces to be under the radar, then the SLA-055 would be a breathtaking addition to any collection.